Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Sydney. If you're new, welcome. I haven't filmed in probably like two months. No, more like a month and a half, but it's been so long and it feels so weird to just sit here in front of the camera and talk to you guys. I've missed you guys so much. I originally just started doing YouTube in the beginning and then I kind of made my way into the Instagram world and started doing more Instagram videos and I haven't really got to that many YouTube videos. So my apologies for that. I'm gonna try to get back on my YouTube schedule and at least upload once a week on YouTube. So hopefully that will work. So if it looks a little different, it's because it is. I actually moved to my brother's house and my beauty room is here now. I have a lot more space, a lot better lighting, and it's just better for me to have my beauty room here instead of my parents' house like it was before. I changed up the background a little. I got this lipstick, um, painting I guess you could say and then this eyelash one and I absolutely love both of them. I can't remember what the name is of the company I got it from but I'll link it down below so you guys can check them out. They have so many cute paintings and stuff. I'm also going to get like a desk with like a bunch of drawers. I actually have a desk already but I don't have like the mirror or the lights or the decorations. So I'm gonna just wait to show you that. Also, I am trying to not wash my hair as much and this is like three to four day hair and it's just looking so rough. My skin's breaking out, but it's good, it's good. So as you can see in the title, this video is going to be a thousand dollars full face which is basically I'm gonna do my full face with products that are super expensive and high end to like luxury brands. I actually recently went to Nordstrom and I haven't really ever shopped. There's a fuzz in my hair. I could see it in the corner of my eye. But anyways, I haven't really gone there and shopped for makeup that much because it was always so expensive for me. But I decided to go look around and I saw so many brands that I've seen on YouTube and Instagram and I was like, ugh, I have to try these out. I actually saw Tati Westbrook do this video or like a video like kind of like it. So I'll link hers below. She's amazing. If you don't know who she is, you definitely need to check her out because she's the queen of like YouTube and makeup. Like, oh, I love her so much. But anyways, I got this idea from her and it was such a cute video and I loved it. So I decided to do it myself. I have a bucket here or like a little container and it is full with all the makeup I'm gonna be using. That was a long intro, but I kind of just wanted to explain what was going on, the changes I've been going through, like moving wise and all that stuff. So yeah, if you'd like to see this video of a thousand dollars full face, literally a thousand dollars that's so crazy sorry i keep saying it in my mind and i'm like a thousand dollars you know how much stuff a thousand dollars could get me and i'm spending it on makeup i just love my job and i'm so happy that i get to do this in no way at all am i bragging am i like trying to show off nothing at all i'm just trying to be helpful for those of you out there that are thinking about buying a more luxury brand item and I'm gonna let you know if it is worth the money or not so please don't think I'm bragging I'm trying to help everyone out I if I was an average person that didn't do YouTube or didn't do Instagram there's no way I would buy all of this makeup so yeah unless it was like a hundred percent worth your money but yeah, so if you'd like to see this full face of a thousand dollar makeup, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with this headband. It's just old. I don't even know where it's from. I think from Ulta, but um, I just do this to get all the hair out of my face so I don't have to worry about it. This one actually needs to be washed. It has like makeup all over it, but there we go. All right, so the first item I'm gonna start off with is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I actually wanted to use the dewy skin um, lotion that they just came out with, but I actually don't have it yet. So I'm just gonna use this instead. I'm guessing it's like pretty much the same thing. I'm just gonna give my skin a light little mist. All right, so I'm just gonna name the prices of all the products so you know exactly how much each item costs. The Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist was actually $48 from Sephora. So it's not as high end as some of the items I'm gonna show in this video, but it is pretty pricey for a setting spray. But this does leave my skin looking super dewy, super fresh. And if you love that kind of look, then this is definitely a great item for you. I do think it is worth the money only because it does make my skin look so fresh and like fresh and natural. So I do recommend this and I do love it. <sighs> 
take some deep deep breaths before I talk about this item because when I tell you how much it is, I think a lot of people are going to pass out because it is so expensive for one item. And I don't even know if I can say it right now because I am gonna go insane about how, how much this item is. I can't even talk right now because I'm shocked. <sighs> the next item that I got from Nordstrom is the Sisley Double Tensier um, instant long-term primer skincare item. This for one fluid ounce was $220. 220 dollars. What? For this little bottle. It's not even like glass pla packaging. It is literally plastic. And that's how much this bottle is. I actually have not tried this product yet, so I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, let me tell you this. I do know that Tati has tried this. I believe Kathleen Lights, Jeffree Star, a bunch of other people have raved about this. Jaclyn Hill has raved about it and says that they absolutely love it. And a lot of them said they wouldn't pay the price of this if it wasn't like amazing. So I have really high hopes for this and I'm really excited. Hopefully it's working out for me. Actually, now that I think about it, I kind of wish it sucks so I can return it and not get another one if I run out. All right, so I'm gonna do like a little baby pump because I don't want to spend too much of it because it's so expensive. Oh, it feels really nice. Well, that felt super nice, super hydrating, kind of has like a tacky feel. So I feel like my foundation is gonna really like stick to this primer and oh, it feels really nice and really like luxurious, luxurious, luxur, luxurious. It feels really nice. So now we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow because I always like doing my eyeshadow before my face just in case there's like fallout and stuff and I don't like that. So we're gonna move on to eyeshadow primer. I actually don't have a primer that's super expensive or anything like that. This is like a normal primer that a lot of people use on their eyes. This is actually the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Um, I love this stuff. It makes my eyeshadows stay all day long. The price of this is only $22, which is still pretty high end, but it's more affordable. So if you're looking for a eyeshadow primer that is more on the high end side, but not a super high end price, if that makes sense, then I would definitely check out MAC Paint Pots because they are bomb. All right, so next we have the eyeshadow and I'm so excited for this item because I love the formulation of this eyeshadow. Well, I don't know about this palette in particular because it's new, but in the past her eyeshadows are amazing. And Natasha Denona is like a super expensive high-end, high-end, high-end brand for eyeshadows. And this palette was, I don't know if these are one of, this is one of her like, less expensive palettes because I know she has palettes that are like $250, almost $300, and that's crazy for an eyeshadow palette. But this I think was a little bit price or a little bit cheaper than her bigger palettes, but it's super pretty. I did swatch a few of the colors and I loved them. The price of this palette on Sephora.com was $129. So not terribly expensive for a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, but it is still pricey for like an overall eyeshadow palette. But I'm having high hopes for this because I do love her eyeshadows and I have been a fan in the past. So let's just try this out. All right, so first I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Tusk and it's just a plain like um, skin color shade, I guess you can say for me at least. I'm gonna set my eyeshadow primer with this just so my eyeshadow doesn't like slip around because of the eyeshadow primer. All right, next I'm gonna go into the shade called Freckle and it's right here. And it's just like a light brown shade. I'm just gonna use this as my transition and buff it into my crease. All right, so next I wanna go into this shade right here called Buff and it's more of like a pinky tone brownish color. I just want to put this in 
the lower crease area so right below where we just put the first transition shade and I'm just gonna buff that in and blend it together all right so next I'm gonna take this shade right here with the same brush I took which was the E38 by Sigma. I actually haven't used Sigma brushes in years, but I recently just got a few brushes from them and love them. They're so soft. I feel like they blend out my eyeshadow so good and I'm definitely gonna return to buying more Sigma brushes because they are amazing. So I'm just gonna take this shade right here. It is actually called Pasha and I'm just gonna focus that kind of on the outer corner. All right, and then next I'm going to take, try to decide what kind of look I'm going for. I think I'm going to take that same shade, but then put it in the inner corner because I kind of want to do like a halo kind of looking look, like a natural halo, if that makes sense. I haven't done those in a long time, so I'm just going to buff this into the inner crease area. So it looks a little crazy right now. I feel like every time I do eyeshadow, it looks crazy, but then at the end, it all comes together when you put on the foundation, the mascara, the lashes, all that stuff. So don't worry, I have it covered, maybe. So I have a question for a lot of you out there. My eyes recently, they never did this before, but recently they get like little patches and it's with like most eyeshadows I wear. It's very rarely that it doesn't happen, but I get like patches like in certain areas where eyeshadow just won't go on there. I think it's because like some spots in my eyes are drier than the rest. So it like some areas it will cling, some areas it won't. And it's just really annoying because like it's hard to blend when it's like dry patches. So if you have that, let me know. If you figured out like some type of solution, please let me know because I am in need of something to be done. All right, so next I'm gonna actually take her single eyeshadow in the blackest bat blackest black because the eyeshadow palette that I'm using doesn't have like a matte black and I need one so we're just gonna use this one and I'm just gonna focus this on the outer corner again to deepen it up see that looks really pretty and then the inner corner okay so I just blended everything out as best as I could this turned super smoky super fast but it's okay We'll roll with it. Um, next, I wanted to do a like halo eye, like I said. So I need like a small concealer looking brush. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna take a Morphe M124 and use the MAC Paint Pot again, just to do like a center like halo effect. I'm not really good at these, but I am just gonna try to do the best I can. Okay, so I just kind of did like a soft halo eye right there, and now I'm just gonna add a shimmer, sh a shimmer shade to the inner part of it. I usually spray my shadows with like a setting spray, so I think I'm gonna try doing that. I'm actually using this shade right here called Shine, and then I'm gonna spray it with this Dewy Skin Mist, and I'm just gonna into insert. I'm just going to place that in the center of the eye. So that's kind of the look I'm going for today. I think it's really pretty. I'm just going to do this one off camera real quick and then we'll come back and finish this look out. All right. So I pretty much got the eyeshadows blended and I kind of like how they are right now. Not perfect, but it's okay. I also have this Marc Jacobs like glitter pot thing. I'm not really sure the exact name. It's called the Marc Jacobs Sequence Glam Glitter Eyeshadow, and I've never tried these out before, but look how beautiful this is. <gasps> it's just so, so pretty, and I think it's just like a pressed glitter pot type thing. So I want to put this right in the center to make it pop more, but I don't want there to be glitter all over my face because I feel like this is a product that like glitter will just fall. So I'm going to dip my finger in it like that. And then I'm gonna take the spray again and spray my finger. I know that seems weird, but it really does help so fallout doesn't just like fall on your face. So I'm just gonna lightly tap this. See, look, I'm gonna tap it right in the center. And then I'm just going to blend all of that out on the sides. 
Okay, so the price of these Marc Jacobs glitter pots are $28, so that's pretty expensive for this itty bitty, like, I mean, actually it's not little, like, if I put it on my hand, it's like, pretty big size, but for these glitter pots, $28 is pretty high end, and Marc Jacobs is a more high end brand, so that is pricey, but it is beautiful on the eyes. I feel like it gave it a good pop, and I love always putting like a glitter in the center. So that was super pretty. Okay, so the next item is actually the least expensive and it's not luxury, it's not high end, it's actually just a normal product. But I didn't find any high end luxury brands that I love as much as this product. It is a liquid eyeliner. It is by Sephora. It looks like this. Don't get confused because they have two liners. One has a top like this where it goes in in the middle and then fat and fat on the bottom. But the other one is just like a straight top that like comes to a pointy end, I believe. But this is the best eyeliner I've ever used, hands down. And let me tell you why. This is a super matte formula, but it is also waterproof. I feel like it's really hard to find a matte eyeliner that is also waterproof, that doesn't smudge, doesn't crackle, doesn't like move. This is just like the best one in my opinion. Everyone's opinions are different, but to me, this one works out for me, so therefore, I'm not gonna try out a super high-end one because this one already works for me. So I'm just gonna do a thin line with a wing, and then, yeah. The wing eyeliner is on. It looks somewhat decent, so we're just gonna move on. I think I'm gonna move on to the face now and then finish up the eyes after. So, the primer is actually still pretty sticky. The next item that we are going to use is an expensive one. It's an expensive brand, it's an expensive item. <sighs> it is going to be the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation, and it has SPF 20 in it. This foundation is very expensive. It's the highest end foundation that I have. This foundation runs for $120, and I haven't worn it yet. I have put it like on the back of my hand and like I tested it on my face and the color isn't the best, but they don't have like a huge shade, shade range. So this is the best color that they have for me. Um, I don't know if any foundation is worth $120. La Mer is very high end. They have a bunch of like skincare items that I'm assuming are great, but I don't know. I've never tried them. But I'm excited to try this, but then again, I'm scared because if I do end up liking this product, I will have to keep buying it, and that will be $120 every time I need to repurchase my foundation, and that's just a lot of money. So, yeah. So we're gonna start off with a beauty sponge. Mine is dirty. This one's the Morphe one. I'm just gonna go and get it wet real quick, and then we'll be right back. My beauty sponge is wet. I'm just gonna squirt I guess a pump on there at first, and then we'll add more if we need to. So this color match isn't perfect. I feel like this is a little too pink for me, but we're gonna have to make it work. I would say the coverage is medium coverage. Um, Let's do my whole face, and then I will give my final thoughts on it because right now I can't really tell. All right, so that is a layer on my face, and let me tell you, this side has like a bunch of acne scars right now. It's textured, it doesn't look that great. But on this side, I don't have as many problems right now with my skin, and it looks really nice and super natural. Um, my forehead also has like a little bit of blemishes, but other than that, I think it looks really nice. Um, I don't know if I would say it's worth the $120, but it is really nice. I feel like this will look way better on me when my skin clears up a little. It's just that time of the month and my skin is not looking the best, so. Okay, so next item I have is super exciting. This I've been wanting to try for so long. Ever since Jaclyn Hill talked about it, I was like, I need that. I don't know what it is, but everything that Jaclyn Hill says to buy, go, I went to go buy it. Like, literally everything she recommends is so amazing, and I trust her opinion so much. She's such an amazing YouTuber. She's so beautiful. I just love her so much. But 
Anyways, this is the Chanel um, Universe Bronzer, and it's called the Chanel Soleil Tan. Soleil Tan de Chanel. I don't know how to pronounce all this, but it's just their cream bronzer that they have that they have and it comes in this pot. Um, I'm just gonna use this to lightly contour my face and bronze up my skin a little bit. So I'm just gonna take it on my sponge and then just place it right here. And I'm a little dark right now from tanning and going to the pool because it's been getting a little warm here in Georgia. So my skin is a little tanner than usual, so I don't know how well this bronzer is gonna show up on my skin. So I just applied it to my face. I do like it, it's very pretty. I don't think it showed up that much. I feel like this will be a better bronzer for me when I'm a little less tan, but you can still kind of see it on the skin and it is really pretty. So this is a, a plus for me no let's just give it an a so this is an a for me i think it blended out so well i don't like cream bronzers usually because it's like so hard to blend out this blended out super easy so let me look at the price for this because i forgot to tell you okay so this cream bronzer is 50 dollars. so that's expensive um is it worth it maybe not you could probably find another one for a cheaper price that works kind of close to this, but honestly, it is really nice and it blended out so well. So I'm gonna give this an A, like I said, and yeah. All right, so the next item that I have is the La Mer, the powder. And I heard Jeffree Star talking about this in like a recent declutter video that he did with Shane Dawson. And he was talking about this and he was like, it's really good. And he was like, it's really expensive, but it's really good. Does it work? Yeah, it's really good. The formula is like, bam, it's really good. So we'll play with that later. I'm really excited to try it out. The packaging is so beautiful. And like this glass is so pretty, the frosted glass. So I'm just gonna use this to kind of just bake in the areas that I would, like right here. Okay, and then I usually bake underneath my eyes, um, on my nose, and then a little on my forehead, and then definitely in the smile line area because I get bad smile lines. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is eyebrows while this is baking. I normally do that just because I want my bake to actually like bake for a while, so I just go ahead and do the eyebrows. Um, this is not a super high-end brand, but it is higher, uh, it is more expensive, but I don't know if I would call it a luxury brand. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow that they just came out with, and I love this product so much. It's so easy. I usually use like an angled brush, and I like get it on the brush, and then I fill in my brows, and then I set it with this gel. It works so amazing. It makes my eyebrows last all day long. I believe this is around 20 something dollars. Let me double check. This is $18, so it's not that bad. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna apply these off camera because I don't wanna, it's gonna take forever. So I'll be right back and my eyebrows will be finished. Okay, so the eyebrows are complete. I wiped off the bake and everything is looking pretty nice so far. I actually like all the products that I've used. There is a little bit of glitter falling down from the Marc Jacobs glitter pot, but it's not terrible. So I kind of want to deepen up my contour bronzer kind of because the Chanel one didn't make it as dark as I normally like it. So I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs, um, what is this called? The Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. And this is like a very popular bronzer. Everybody loves it. I love it so much. It's like the perfect tone of cool, but not too cool. A little bit of warmth warmness but yeah it's just a perfect bronzer to bronze the whole face or even contour your face so i'm just going to be using this i actually have the price of this also the price of this bronzer is 50 dollars as well so i'm just going to contour my face a little bit more next i'm going to do blush this is a nars blush and it is in the shade 
Dulce Vita, Vita. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is it right there. This is a gorgeous color and it's like a mauvey pink rosy-ish color. And I've been using this for a while and I do love NARS blushes. I feel like they're pigmented, but not too pigmented where you cannot blend it out. I feel like it's a very nice blendable blush. These blushes are on the pricier side. They're $30 for this itty bitty blush. And actually mine is like broken, so that kind of stinks. Like this just looks so pretty and so natural on the skin. All right, so now I don't really need to do this step, but I've been wanting to try this item for so long, so I'm just gonna do it anyways. I am going to actually take this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Powder in medium two. I have been wanting to try this for so long because I've heard so many great things about it, and I'm just gonna use this to kind of like highlight my underneath my eyes and in my t-zone area the price for this is $45 which is so much money for a powder so let's hope this works and looks nice so when I just use that in like my t-zone area and underneath the eyes it did make everything look super smooth so I think this is going to be a new favorite powder for sure, because I just cannot believe how well it just smoothed out my under eye area and my T-zone. All right, so the next thing that we are going to use is this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, and these are like really nice finishing highlighter powders. So basically, I'm just gonna sweep this over areas of my face, and it's gonna make it look a little more natural. I have not tried this yet, but I feel like Actually, I feel like I got a sample of it a while ago and I really liked it. So I'm just going to mix all three of these and just sweep it over my face. I feel like that gave my skin a really nice glow. So I like it. I'm going to continue to use it. And I normally go for more like a matte finish look, but I feel like this is really pretty because it gives it like a glow and it looks more natural. So next is going to be a actual highlighter. This is going to be the Ofra highlighter in Star Island. This is so beautiful. I love Ofra highlighters and I love Nikki tutorials and I know she teamed up with them to create like a ton of colors. I don't know if this one exactly is like part of her line but these are like so blinding, so creamy, so amazing, and I love them. But they are on the pricier side. When I first saw Ofra Cosmetics, I don't know why, but in my head I was thinking, oh, they're more like affordable, kind of like um, Morphe, but no, I, they're pretty high end. Like this highlighter is $35. So that's pretty pricey for a highlighter. I'm just gonna take my Anastasia highlighting brush. This is one of my faves and highlight the high points of my cheeks. Like, look at that, it is blinding. So there is my highlighter complete. This look is almost finished. I know, I feel like I'm taking forever. But now we're gonna move back onto the eyes and finish out the eyes. We're gonna do the lower lash line and basically I'm just gonna smudge like one or two colors on the lower lash line. I'll probably take this brown right here called Seed and then also this one right here called Pasha. All right, so those are those two shades blended out on my lower lash line. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the eye lashes. First, I want to try this primer by my Marc Jacobs. I didn't realize how much Marc's, Marc Jacobs I had in this video. So yeah, that's kind of weird, but this is their new eye lash primer, eyelash primer, and look how weird. It's like a nude color. They're usually white, but I've heard really good things about this, so I'm really excited. I always use a eyelash primer for mascara just because I feel like it makes my eyelashes look so much longer, so much thicker, and like I feel like when I use a eyelash primer, I don't have to wear falsies, so I always apply a primer. Okay, so the price of this eyelash primer is 
$26. So I think that's pretty pricey for a primer for your eyelashes, but Next is mascara. This is my Dior Show Waterproof Mascara. I absolutely love, love, love this mascara. It's probably my favorite out of all my mascaras. It's $30 for this, so that's pretty pricey for a mascara, and Dior is a higher end. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna apply this to my lashes. The reason why I like this mascara so much is because I don't get any flakiness and it makes my eyelashes look so long. All right, so there's the mascara on. I normally curl my eyelashes with my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. That is my favorite of all time, but I forgot it at my parents' house and I'm really sad. So fortunately my eyelashes aren't gonna look as like lifted as they normally do, but I think we're just about done. Do we have any more products? Oh, lips, oh my goodness. So the last product other than finishing spray is going to be this YSL liquid lipstick in 28. I have actually never tried these, but I've heard really great things about them. The applicator is so weird. It's like a flat, like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's so weird. These are $37 for these little liquid lipsticks. That is, that's expensive. Okay, now first thoughts on this is it looks really nice on the lips and also the applicator makes it so easy to apply. Like normally I would take like five minutes just applying my liquid lipstick because it gets here, then I gotta wipe it and all that stuff, but this actually was so easy, so I kinda wanna look into getting some more colors. Um, and I think that this look is complete. I just have to spray it with a little more of this dewy skin mist and we'll be complete. Okay, and there we go. That is a full face of $1,000 worth of makeup. That was so fun. I feel like this look actually turned out pretty nice. I look super dewy and like, I don't know. I feel like I'm ready to go out and party. Not really, but really. Not really. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. It was a different video, but it was really fun. I like this new setup. I like the vibes in this room. I feel like it's very happy. And yeah, I'm really excited to start filming more content for you guys. Please leave down below any ideas or anything that y'all would like to see, and I'm gonna be so happy to film that for you guys. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.